Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is another Sunday. We come to worship, to praise the Lord, and to thank you one another. We will hear today about the generosity and the providence of God. And in this way, we also reflect about our being generous and uh, about God being gen uh, generous and uh, provident to us. Let us begin our Mass with the thanksgiving in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask a blessed Mary, ever virgin, of the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. Almighty and a merciful God, graciously keep us all, keep us all from adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah the prophet went to Zephyrah. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cup full of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose, but first make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and he and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry. As the Lord had foretold, through Elijah. The word of the Lord. justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my
a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf, not that he might offer himself repeatedly as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now, once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice, just as it is appointed that human beings die once, and after this, the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eager, eagerly await him. The word of the Lord. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark Glory Glory to you, o Lord. in the course of his teaching jesus said to the crowds beware of scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces seats of honor in synagogues and places of honor at banquets they devour the houses of widows and as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury, and he observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples and to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning once again. Good morning, I said in my introduction that uh, today we reflect on the generosity and the providence of God and to the church by choosing the readings of today helps us to reflect on this theme and see where we are and where is the place of God in our lives. 
the prophet that we have heard, Prophet Elijah, was sent to this place of Zarapta, the part of Israel, to prophesy to the people that uh, if they don't uh, repent and change their ways, there will be drought and hence great famine in that place, in that land. But it seems that people did not uh, he pay heed to this prophecy. They continued with their life, with their sin, until the drought came. One of the greatest sin among many of these people that they are committing is to oppress the widows, to deprive their rights and justice. So Prophet Elijah went to conscientize them that they needed to change their ways, not to oppress these widows. And the readings of today has a purpose to choose these two widows from the Old Testament and the New Testament to tell us something about generosity. I'm sure we are aware of the great famine in this world The one even here in the States, 1878 in Alaska, 1930s in Washington, 1940s, the great, what they call Irish Pareto. And we could think in many other places, in Africa we have so many, in the Sudan, in the Chad, Egypt, and many other places. Those who read about it, those who witnessed about it, will know what does it mean to experience drought and famine. It is very, very heavy and dangerous experience. So Elijah went to tell these people, please leave your wickedness and follow the ways of the Lord. But they did not hear. After some time, he went back. When now the famine came, and went to this family, which was a struggling, a woman with just a son and having very little to survive. And he says, "Can you prepare something for me?" I say, "Oh, I have very little." What can I do if I give you? Means you will have nothing, I and my, my son. Say, no, don't, don't worry, just prepare for me a bread. With a doubt, but then we decided to do so. And she experienced the providence of God that her flower was not getting over the oil was still there, and it was caught with a surprise. See how God works when we give totally ourselves. In that way also, Jesus gives another example of a widow who had just two coins and he gave that to the treasury. All that she had, she was ready to remain without any help. 
I'm not sure that Jesus was just there looking exactly who puts what and how much. But I think the reading wants to tell us that Jesus reads our heart. Jesus reads our mind and our intentions. Seeing that this, this lady giving two coins and says, you know, has given more than everyone. And people could say, hey, what are you saying? We gave a lot of money. And you say only the one who gave two coins has given a lot. But it wants you to emphasize that the heart speaks louder. And whatever we do, we need it to do from the heart. This widow is not that uh, could not save even one coin and give one, but said, well, God will provide. I'll just give everything. We are not hearing what happened later, but I think the words of Jesus is the providence to her. Jesus praised her, and in that way, promised the eternity for her. Dear brothers and sisters, this is story that we have heard in the first reading and the gospel tells us something that we can give totally ourselves for the sake of others. And probably not so much what we give, but how we give. I know we give a lot of assistance here and there. Every time the church, our diocese, asks us to donate for certain groups for certain countries, we do that, and uh, God is blessing us for that. However, Jesus today wants us to reflect more about that. Even if we give little, but with the whole heart, it is so meaningful before the Lord, and in turn, the Lord blesses us. There, was two, there were two men who went to the pastor and said, we want to give a donation to the church. I said, oh, that is a good idea. So when? I said, oh, any day when you are there, we can come. So I said, fine. We meet at the, ta- at the, at the church so that uh, I can bless you. One person put his check in the envelope, uh, in a, en, what is it called? Envelope, not environment. And he brought it sealed. But the other one said, well, I have a lot in my past, so I don't know how much to offer. But since we are in the church, I will take everything from my past and throw it in the air. What will remain in there and go up will be for God and for the church. And the money that will come down will be still mine. So it threw a lot of money and everything came down. So I said, what have you given? I said, I don't know what I have gotten there, but what is down here is mine. I take it back. Dear brothers and sisters, this man wanted to offer, but I think his heart was still not generous. In the world, we experience a lot of calamities. And all of those calamities calls to our attention how we respond to them. Sometimes it is easier to respond to those calamities 
worldwide spoken and we forget that at the neighboring at the next door there is also a need i needed to offer something not so much the material things but also my words my suggestions opinions exaltation all of these are needed in the time of famine it might be famine of food but also spiritual famine many of us may lack and are in need of that so let us open our ears let us open our eyes to see all of these kind of needs in our circumstances and in our environment so that like those two ladies widow we can be there to offer people say there is no one who has nothing to offer every one of us has got something to offer it may be not money but as i said probably my suggestions my exaltation to some other people it may help them to come out to this drought probably a spiritual drought and when i talk to them when i give them counsel it helps them to conquer uh, this situation so the widow of zarapta gave generously to the servant of god the prophet elijah despite her earlier doubts and that poor widow who gave the two copper coins at the temple also gave generously from her heart both of them gave even from their poverty and they did not seek a claim fame or expecting what they had given to be returned to them as such god blessed them and remembers their generosity they may not receive any rewards in this world but their rewards in heaven shall be great and that is what we can also be sure of if we are generous in the giving of ourselves jesus christ loved us so much and he gave totally himself he teaches us also that we can be there for others and god will bless us we thank you each one of us for generosity and the readiness that we are here to offer to each other and especially our brothers and sisters in the community who are less fortunate we know them we see them let us continue to be of help within the community and outside of our community as we heard this prophet elijah warning the people from the sin of oppression the privation the justice and the right of the widows let us continue to pray that our societies may also open their eyes and ears to listen the cry of the widow who suffer today we talk of the uh, gender equality we talk about the women emancipation that time it was not there but also in some areas in the periphery they may not struggle for gender equality 
and there are those women who still suffer. We would like to pray for all of them and pray for the whole society to be aware of this social sin and change our ways. Amen. Amen. Let us rise for the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and the earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things we are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and upon Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to join the living the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in the goodness of our merciful Father, we place before him our prayers. For all members of the church, through God's grace, may we continue to serve him through our lives of intentional discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For political leaders, may God's wisdom inspire them in seeking the common good above all else. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For the sick, the poor, and the mourning, May God's gracious mercy bring them comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us to bear good fruit in service to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the homebound, the sick. Francisco Resendez, Inez Resendez, Dennis Easterling, Juana Martinez, Jessica Resendez, Sean Zalazar, Guadalupe Padilla Vasquez, Lucy Padilla, and Enrique Eduardo Vasquez. And for their caregivers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our faithful departed, Jose Jimenez, Ernesto Valencia, and Ray Hernandez. May they rest forever in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. This Mass is being offered for the special intention of Angela Poulier, for the repose of the souls of Peter Nguyen, Rosalinda Zavala, and Mary Magana. For those intentions, written in our book of petitions and for those intentions we carry in the quiet of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, 
You are faithful and kind. In your wisdom, please hear and answer our prayers this day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all sing the song for the gifts. These alone are enough. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with fervor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts you offer here, that is celebrating in a mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with you loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is a truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, 
but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with the all angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> indeed holy and to be glorified O God who love the human race and who always walk with us in our journey of life blessed indeed is your son present in your midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread therefore father most merciful we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you things, and he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and a drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of a blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the Paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed unto us. And grant that by the power of the, the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. 
And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, John and Ramon, his auxiliaries, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into this world. Remember our brothers and sisters for whom we offer this Holy Eucharist, who have fallen asleep in the hope of, the, of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice to in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of light. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. They are in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the apostles and the martyrs, with the Saint Francis of Assisi, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us that God is a provider, and we would like to join in his prayers by saying, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this, this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another now a sign of that peace. Peace, Father. Thank you, Father.
Yes. Be holy, the Lamb of God. Be holy, Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter in my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us all sing our communion song, Because the Lord is my shepherd.
Let us pray. <coughs> Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those you, your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us listen to some announcements. In observance of Veterans Day, the parish office and the church will be closed on Friday November 12th, 2021. The church will open for the 8 a.m. and the 7 p.m. masses only. Thank you for your understanding. Father Reuben would like to extend his gratitude to all the parishioners, families that participated by bringing crosses for the dearly departed, ministries and the staff for all that was done to make the All Souls Mass as special as it was for all who attended. Thank you all for your continued support to the St. Francis community. On Friday, November 12th, the County of San Diego will conduct COVID testing and vaccine clinics in the east parking lot of the church from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. They will be offering testing as well as the three COVID vaccines, boosters, and the pediatric Pfizer vaccine for children five years and up. They will also be offering the flu shot with the COVID vaccine if desired. The flu shot will only be available to those receiving the COVID vaccine. Requests for the flu shot only will be declined. The Parish Ministry of Consolation assists in the planning of funeral rites and helps to bring comfort, peace, and healing to those who grieve. We also meet with individuals or families who would like to pre-plan their own funerals so that their children and loved ones know their wishes when that time comes. We will be hosting a funeral pre-planning workshop on Wednesday, 11-17-21, from 1.30 to 3 o'clock p.m. in the kiosk by the East parking lot. Having these decisions in place can be a great gift to your spouse and loved ones at the time of loss and confusion. Please call or text Luann to reserve a space. The Knights of Columbus, Joseph P. Schultz Council, 3589, will sponsor the Saturday, November 13th, 8 a.m. Mass to the Council Knights who have passed away. This council has been active in this parish for over 70 years, and many names are recognized by the parish members. All are invited. Share God's love this Christmas by helping the homeless. St. Francis is holding a sock drive through St. Vincent de Paul. Bring packages of new socks to Mass this weekend, November 7th and December 5th. We will have bins at the entrances, front and back, for you to put them in. Thank you and God bless. Please be sure to take home a copy of the bulletin or visit our parish website at St. Francis of Assisi Vista for more information regarding the announcements just made and activities at our parish. We ask that the ministers to the home down and to the sick please come forward for a blessing. Please extend your arm. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would send your Holy Spirit upon these who have been chosen to take the Eucharist to the homebound and to the ill. We ask that it would bring them healing, it would bring them peace, and it would bring them unity in knowing that we are one body regardless whether we're here or at home. We praise you in these things. Amen. 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 Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.
thank you all for your generosity, for your love, and your readiness always to help, and also to take care of our brothers and sisters in the community who are misfortuned. Let us continue to be the new widow of Serata and of the gospel so that the kingdom of God may spread and uh, we may all experience the providence of God. Let us now receive the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Let us all sing our sending forth song, Go Make a Difference.